Well, hi there, and welcome to our Sunday Song Time. Yes, back after a couple of weeks hiatus. Back in a brand new month already. Wow, September. Hope you're enjoying this holiday weekend. I uh, spent a week, actually, uh, leading all the songs at a family camp at the Guelph Bible Conference Center, Christian Camp in Guelph, and uh, I was leading the music there that week. And the directors of that week asked if we could learn this song. And it goes back to, uh, what, 2016. So not entirely new, but not all that old. And uh, written by Matt and Matt, uh, Matt Papa and Matt Boswell. And uh, we used it as a bit of a theme and uh, I enjoyed singing it, and I thought, well, maybe you'd enjoy hearing it. It's called, His Mercy is More. And it's got a great message to it. And so, uh, yeah, it might be new to you, uh, but if you've heard it, please sing along. All right, it starts with the chorus. Praise the Lord, His mercy is more. Stronger than darkness, new every morn. Our sins, they are many, His mercy is more. What love could remember, no wrongs we have done. Omniscient all knowing, He counts not their sum. Thrown into a sea, without bottom or shore. Our sins, they are many, His mercy is more. Praise the Lord, His mercy is more. Stronger than darkness, new every morn. Our sins, they are many, His mercy is more. What patience could wait? As we constantly roam What father so tender Is calling us home He welcomes the weakest The vilest, the poor Our sins, they are many His mercy is more Praise the Lord His mercy is more than darkness new every morn our sins they are many his mercy is more what riches of kindness he lavished on us his blood was the payment his life was the cost we stood neath a debt we could never afford our sins they are many his mercy is more. Praise the Lord. His mercy is more. Stronger than darkness, new every morn. Our sins, they are many. His mercy is more. Stronger than darkness, new every morn. Our sins, they are many, His mercy is more. His mercy is more. Wow, yeah, great, great song. And, uh, well, it comes from the scriptures, of course, how God is able to forgive us. I, I saw a great quote. Um, somebody posted it on Facebook just this week. And it comes from Anne McCaffrey, uh, a writer and, and poet. Um, and she wrote this. She said, Make no judgments where you have no compassion. Yeah, ponder that one for a moment. Make no judgments where you have no compassion. Uh, some of us, you know, we, we love to, to judge others. Now, you can make judgments, right? Uh, you know, someone who's constantly cheated you over the years is asking you for a loan of a hundred dollars you're able to say well you know i don't think you know the judgment i'm here i'm making that but but it's that sort of self-righteous condemning kind of judgment jesus doesn't give us any right to make that um i was remembering a story okay if my good friend paul fletcher is watching right now paul uh when you were when you were pastoring down in simcoe 
Uh, this is going back over 40 years. You told this story, and I've never forgotten it. Uh, but anyway, he was talking about two guys, you know, chatting over the back fence. And uh, one fella said, uh, oh, we got a new pastor at our church. Oh, really? Said his friend. Oh, yeah, boy. Whew, so glad to get rid of that last guy. Whew, man, he was bitter. Really? He said, oh, what did he used to teach you? He said, well, he told us that if we didn't receive Jesus as our Lord and Savior, that we'd go to hell. Poo, said his friend. Yeah, whoo, you don't want to hear that. No, I should say not. So what does this new uh, pastor teach you? Hmm? Uh, well, he, uh, he says that if, uh, if we don't receive Jesus as our Lord and Savior, yeah, we'll, we'll go to hell. The friend said, wait a minute. I, I thought you said you liked this guy. Oh, yeah. Well, wait a minute. What's different from the other guy? He said, well, you know, when this guy says that, he, he almost sounds like, like he'd be really sad if that happened to us. Right? You got some people that they'll they'll correctly they'll correctly spell out all the doctrines, but they don't seem to have any compassion for you. Well, thankfully, God has compassion. Um, that idea of his mercy, uh, uh, stronger than darkness and new every morn. That comes from the book of Lamentations, right? His mercies are new every morning. And I was just thinking about a couple of verses. First of all, from Psalm 32, where it said, Blessed is the one whose transgressions are forgiven, whose sins are covered. Covered, yes, his blood was the payment. His life was the cost. Blessed is the one whose sin the Lord does not count against them, and in whose spirit is no deceit. I've said this before, you know, um, you you really cannot stand before God someday in your own righteousness. Okay, we're all going to. There's a judgment day coming, right? And you can't you can't stand before a, a holy God just as you are. And 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 as good as you may have been in this life, and probably most of you've been a lot better than me. But compared to God, wow! No, he he had to make a payment for the sins that well that we've committed that. It's that stand in the way between us and our Creator that had to be that had to be forgiven. That had to be forgiven. And uh, you know, as the song says, um, the idea of of Him casting our sins, throwing them into a sea, without bottom or shore. And I was I was thinking that comes from uh, uh, the prophet Micah. Yeah, the book of Micah. There's a little a little prophet. I wouldn't say a little prophet. What I mean is it's a small book, a short little book down in the minor prophets, as they say. And, and in Micah chapter 7 and verse 9, he talks about God. Well, first of all, in verse 18, he says, Who is a God like you who pardons sin and forgives the transgression of the remnant of his inheritance? Hey, he forgives us. And then he says, he says You do not stay angry forever, but delight to show mercy. And then he said, You will again have compassion on us. You will tread our sins underfoot and hurl all our iniquities into the depths of the sea. And I remember a friend of mine saying, and, and when, he, when he casts your sins into the sea, he puts up a no fishing sign. Right? Don't you go trying to dig them back out again. If you've been forgiven, you're forgiven. And God has an ability to do something we don't. Right? Um, he's able to forget when someone has sinned against him, when someone has wronged him. Um, you and I don't have that ability all the time, right? Someone has done something maybe really terrible to us. It hurt us badly. And sometimes we lie awake at night. Sometimes we go for decades, not able to really move forward because of something someone did to us in the past. We just can't seem to shake it, can't forget it. But God, he has the ability not, even, not only to forgive, but also to forget. No, no, I don't, I don't remember those anymore. He's able to choose not to remember our sins. In fact, it says that he, as far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our sins from us. And you know, you think about it, if you think of a, did you, well, did you know that the distance between east and west is actually longer than the distance between north and south? Yeah, well, think of it this way. 
Picture a globe, right? Remember when you were a kid, you had the globe and do you know how many people believe the earth is flat? I can't believe that. Anyway, okay, so picture a globe, right? Now, if you start on the South Pole and if you were able to travel all the way up, you would be traveling north all the way to the North Pole. And then by the time you get to the North Pole and begin traveling all the way on the other side, oh, you're now going south, right? You're going south back down to the South Pole. But you, uh, you leave uh, Ontario and you begin to head east, you head east, and as you keep going east, past Newfoundland and off across the Atlantic Ocean, and you keep going east and east and east, and as you begin to round your way around the planet, kind of like the International Space Station, right? You're still going east. There's never a time when you're starting to go west. No, nope, you're still going east. And do the other way around. You know, if you want to go west, to, you're always going to go west. That's how the distance between west and east is. And so far has he cast our sins away. Mm, man. So listen, you, uh, if you haven't already, place your faith and trust in him. Yes, yes, just, just acknowledge. Tell him you believe that Jesus died and rose again for you. And receive him because, as I said, you... You cannot stand before a holy God. None of us can. But you know, some of those people that uh, maybe you know some Christian people and you think, oh yeah, but they're, they're very judgmental and boy, they don't, they don't have compassion on me. Well, hey, listen, God isn't fooled by anybody, right? Jesus said, whoever, not everybody who says, Lord, Lord, you know, do I even know? And, and uh, so, uh, so listen, uh, do you honestly believe that any of those Christian people are any better than you are? Any more deserving of God's forgiveness than you? No, no, you come, you come, you come to, you, you join this group if you want. And, and it's all over the world. People who have put their faith and trust in Jesus and have received his forgiveness and received his mercy, the one who is able to remember our wrongs no more, no more. And uh, I mean, he's omniscient, he's all-knowing, he knows everything, but no, he's able to forgive and forget. And, well, you know, uh, I've often thought of this too. Uh, the Bible says that his mercies are new every morning. Because, well, when you're dealing with people like us, they have to be new every morning, right? Because, well, then listen, hey, it's a brand new day. You can make a brand new, fresh start today. Yes, he loves you that much. The riches of kindness he's lavished on us. Get your sins forgiven. Chart the course of your life, right, with his will, his, his goal in view. And uh, not, only will you, not only will you be led home someday, but through this life too. And, you know, he won't disappoint you. Hmm. I can say that from experience. God bless you.